I've given you the right to allow recording. Start. Now, I am Arav Jha, as it says on the screen. And this is Gibbon, my pet puppet monkey. Now we will learn about the animal kingdom with Gibbon. Okay. Now let's see. Now, can you can you see this? Yes. Now. Yes, you have to speak. Oh, if he is asking something, you have to say yes. Yes, we can see this. Yes, we can see. Now, today we will learn about the animal kingdom. It's my chance, sorry. Okay, fine. Let's begin. Now, there are two groups, vertebrate and invertebrate. Now, the invertebrate group has something called the exoskeleton. Like we have a skeleton inside our body, there's a skeleton outside their body, like a shell. A shell. Like crabs and spiders. And different of those invertebrates you can see on the screen. Now, we are talking about five groups, and this is the first one. It's called mammals. Now, they, now there are many different types of mammals. You give in as a mammal, I am a mammal, and humans are mammals, and lions, tigers, and all of them are mammals. But what? But what makes them mammals? What makes them mammals? What makes mammals mammals? We'll see that. Now, mammals, number one, give birth to young ones. Number two, a warm-blooded. Thank you. Can I say now? Okay, you can enlarge your picture. Stop sharing and enlarge your picture. Somewhere in the, uh, somewhere in, uh, yeah, this is good. And... Mammals also have ears. Mammals are the only ones that have ears. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Of course you did. But they don't know that, don't they? And mammals have lungs, which is not so important. The only important thing is they have fur and they give birth and they drink milk. These three things you must remember. And they are warm-blooded. Now we can show the slide. Speak and then show the slide. Show the slide now. Thank you. Now, now do you know that there are some mammals that are unusual? But we are not talking about that. Given is telling you something. What do you want to say now? Just say it. Did you know giraffes only sleep 30 minutes in a 24 hour period? Slow, slow. Say again. Did you know giraffes only sleep 30 minutes in a 24 hour period? Not so slow. Very well. Now, my judge. Now, you know, there are some mammals that are unusual. Like, you know why a bat's unusual? Because they can fly. They are the only mammals that can fly. And dolphins. Because they, you know, I said that mammals have fur. But these, do they look like they have fur? And one more thing. What, what are these? These three, uh, these two mammals. They're, what what do you think they are called? Anybody guesses anything? What are these mammals are called? 
I only remember that they are platypus. Are platypus. They're platypus. And what's the last one? Looking like a porcupine who's just lost his spikes. What is the last one called? A hedgehog? A platypus. The last one is called the echidna. Which oh. is Australia. Now, echidna. these two mammals are unusual because you probably know or don't know that they lay eggs. Alright. Now, do you know that we have enough of mammals. Let us talk. Let us talk about the eating behaviors. You know why I have to uh, taken plants there. You know, plants shown on the carnivores. Aro, dear, uh, stop sharing and enlarge your picture. Come on the screen. Okay. Now, there are some carnivores plants, which uh, is called. Uh, Life. No, give it to you. Is he scared of carnivorous plant? I think he's a monkey. Do you think he's scared? Because he lives on trees? Of course I am. That sounds that very scary. Now, you know, I I was swinging in a tree where a large plant was was coming to eat me. What large plant? What is the name of that plant? It is called a Flycatcher, Venus flycatcher. Venus flycatcher? Yes. Venus flytrap. My God. Venus flytrap was trying to eat him up? Yes. I told you you have to say slow. Venus flytrap tried to eat me. But I was swinging in a banana tree. Say slow. Please. Now let's move on. Let us see. Okay, show what the else is now there are also herbivorous animals, which you know zebras and giraffes and horses. But there are also one more thing. The third thing is showing that there are Omnivorous animals. Hey, 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 I want to say something. I want to say something. Please, please, please. And what do you want to say? Do you know that a bear tried to eat me? How many animals are trying to eat you today? Or yesterday? Or day before yesterday? And one more thing. Uh, give a new say. Do you know there's something called a detrivorous animal? Uh -huh. There is something called a tetrivorous animal. Do you know? Tetrivorous animals? My god, who's that? What are those? Okay, ah, who knows? How did this happen? Yeah. Madhurima knows, so she can she's raising her hand. Madhurima reply. So detrivorous animal is something which eats uh, what you say like dead things like dead plants and animals so a worm an earthworm is an example of a dead animal animal yes that is good so can now, we call them cleaners so do they like clean the cleaners, forest yes, floor cleaners. are they cleaners, cleaners. Hi, cleaners are the and how about animal. dung beetles can you call dung do dung beetles come in this category so after all the lunch, dinner, everything is done. The yeah, vultures. Yeah, you are yeah, 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 vultures. Ah. Yeah. It is vultures. The vultures. So these animals clear up uh, the table after all the eating is done on the forest floors, right? Something of that sort. Now. Okay, go on. Uh, now. Uh, have you been wondering? Be a little louder. Be a little louder. Be a little louder. Um, if there, do you think there are cleaners in the sky? Speaking of the sky, now we are going to talk about birds. Now you know what is this bird? This big one called. I know. I know. I know. No, don't say. Let them have a chance. What is the bird called? A peacock. Yes. No. 
No. Vulture? No. Peacock. It is not a real bird at all. You tell. It is from a movie. That's Panda? Good. No. It's from the movie Up. But let's tell. let's see what birds do. Hmm? Give a new sense. Birds lay eggs, are warm-blooded, and have feathers, and have lungs and air sacs. What are air sacs? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I thought he was supposed to be the smart one. But do you know that um, birds have feathers? Yeah, let's not say they have wings, because many animals have wings, flies have wings, bats have wings, uh, I don't know what else has wings, but birds have feathers. That is what makes them different from the other groups. Is everything clear to you guys? What is he telling you? Birds have feathers and that is what makes it, makes them different. Right. Yes! Now, um, so do you know the name, do you know this, you know, a falcon can go faster than an express train, almost 70 times faster than you. How fast oh. can you run? Yes? Wow! How fast can you run? Me? I have no idea. You when mama, mama is really annoyed, I think then all of you can run really fast. If mama is annoyed, you can run really fast. Other times, I don't know. Okay, guys, hey. uh, how about the speed? Anusha, Naisha, Madhu, Advait, Atharva, is the speed okay? Do you want him to slow down? Do you no, want him to be faster? Yes. It's okay. Are you able to understand everything? Good. Yes. Can you Yes. What is the name of this big bird? Ostrich? Emo? No. Or? Emo? 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 Or an eagle? Egret? All of them are, uh, all of them are flightless birds, but this one is called a, who knows? Ostrich? No, not an ostrich. Emo? Is it a dodo? No, it's Dodo. A dodo yes. is it is smaller than this big bird, and this has claws. This must be an egret, I think. It's called a cassowary. Cassowary. A cassowary. Cassowary. Let's go ahead. Yes, yes, fishes. Um, very interesting creature. Now, um, can you see, do you know what fishes are, you know, what makes them different from the other groups? Because they have gills they and they can swim in water. They are not mammals. Yes. Not mammals, yes, they are not mammals. What makes them different? They lay eggs. They have gills. They lay eggs. Yes. And they have gills. Blood and they lay eggs. They have fins. Cold blooded is that's new, that's new. Cold blooded is new. They have, they have fins. Even, yeah. even, um, even those uh, amphibians have gills and lungs. So we can also say they have fins and cold blooded. Now, given, do you know any interesting fact about fish? Seahorses are the only fish that can swim upright. Hire. Seahorses are the only fish that can swim upright. Now, oh, can, you can, can anybody repeat what he said? Seahorses are the only fish that can swim upright. Upright. Oh. Yes. And probably they are the only fathers who also get pregnant. Do you know that? Yeah. Yes. Seahorses? Yeah. The, the babies are the babies. 
They are the best in studies. They learn it in English. The day. Okay, studies. go ahead. Go ahead, Ara. Now, do you know what is that? Anybody? 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 Do you know what is Stop that? Fish. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yes. What? Stop is it. it not a fish? What is it then? If it's not a fish, then what is the what is a starfish? Oh, you and I don't know. Anybody? Starfish is an invertebrate, I think. Yes, that is right. Starfish is an invertebrate. That is right. But which group is it from? And it doesn't have gills. So can't be on each arm. Invertebrate. Starfish is an invertebrate, and fishes are not. in what it breaks it has all i know all its arms it has all the ectoderms in what it breaks now let's go ahead. do you know there are di- there is a different group that is called reptiles Now, this different group is scaly. It's really scaly. They live on the surface. Some of these type of reptiles live on land. Bird is a part of reptiles. Yes. Like snakes, crocodiles. Yes, that is right. But now, what makes reptile a reptile? Tell me. Reptile. Oh, reptile. 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 Reptile gives, uh, gives it doesn't give birth to its young. It it uh, it lays eggs. A reptile has eggs and it uh, is cold blooded. Cold blooded, yes. Now and it has scaly skin, not those scales you do for, for measurement. Now the, the scales are dry skin, really dry skin. Now, give it. What question do you have? If a crocodile and frogs and such animals, they spend most of their time in water, then how do they have a dry skin? Uh, those are not. Those are not reptiles. Those are amphibians. Crocodiles are reptiles. Crocodiles are reptiles, but. But it does spend most of its time in water. Then how does it have dry skin? It does have dry skin. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, Ara, in, in case you don't know this, uh, can you do her a favor? Can you find it out oh, for her? The answer to this yes. question. Yeah. And Anusha, uh, next Saturday when we meet, don't forget to ask Kara this question. Okay, yeah, Ara, go ahead. Crocodile is a lizard, but that's why it's an uh, reptile. Now let's share screen. Now, Gibbon will tell us some interesting facts about reptiles. Very interesting. A Komodo dragon saliva has a deadly bacteria that helps even kills even its, if its prey manages to escape an attack. Yeah, you don't know this. because its saliva is poisonous. That its prey can die even though. Imagine this is a Komodo dragon. It bites it, and this it even gets away, but it still dies. That anybody knows a anybody turtle. anybody tortoise? What type of tortoise? tortoise? A uh, tortoise with a long head. What is it called? And I guess uh, a long snouted tortoise. Uh, yes, but it's called a. Um, sorry, this is a bit embarrassing, but it's called a mata mata turtle. It's very embarrassing. A uh, what? A uh, what? A turtle? Mata mata turtle. A mata mata turtle. Okay. 
What is it in the on the screen? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But literally, thank you. <laughs>